Hey everybody, welcome to another part of my Twitch setup tutorial. Today we're going to be talking all about insights, which is the analytics and how to use them, how to understand them, and what you can do with them. All right, so we're going to get right into it today. So first thing we're going to do is you're going to log on to Twitch. You're going to go to your page, or you could do this from the main page as well. And you're going to click on your profile icon and you're going to go down to creator dashboard. This is going to bring up your, your creator dashboard, which has all of the functions that you need to use to set up and manage Twitch. What we're going to do today is we're going to go down to insight. So we're going to click on the uh, expansion box uh, icon here. And we're gonna see three sections, channel analytics, stream summary, and achievement. So first thing we're gonna go to is, we're gonna start at the bottom, we're gonna go to achievement. And what this is showing you is all of the different achievements that you can gain on Twitch. These achievements don't usually give you anything, but it's a great way to track your progress and give you incentivize, maybe gamify, experience on Twitch to do more things. Next thing we're going to get into is your stream summary. So your stream summary, this is going to show you how your stream performed. Now this is different from something I showed in another video called Twitch Tracker, which is a tool that Twitch makes to see, sorry, um, your actually your, your, not your Twitch Tracker is a different kind of tool. This is uh, the tool I'm talking about shows you how your stream performed from a, a, a hardware standpoint, what was your bit rate? What was your, your frames per second? Did they change throughout the course of your stream? This is actually showing you how your stream performed from your point of view of the viewers. So how long did you stream? What was your average view count? What was your max viewers? Unique viewers, unique chatters, the live views, how many people followed you during the stream and how many subscriptions did you get during the stream? And this is about that specific stream. If you go below, this is going to show you a little more information about that stream as well as some relevant statistics about your progress on Twitch. So this graph shows me my average viewers and how that went. There are multiple things that I could show uh, new followers, subscriptions, chatters. So if I click on new followers, this tells me when people came in. So for me on my last stream, anywhere between 8.55 p.m. and 11 p.m. is when my followers came. If I were to do my chatters, you can see that, you know, I had some good amount of chatters early for me and then nothing. And then I had chatters kind of inconsistent throughout the rest of the evening. Scrolling down a little bit more, you're going to see the VOD from that stream. You're going to see how, what is your achievement progress? And then below is where did my views come from? So this is going to say, hey, uh, 39 came from Twitch, 7 came from channels and external was 169 and then how did my live notifications perform it's this will show you that um 675 notifications were sent three people um, clicked on it and of my 1129 followers 675 have the um, notification turned on which is about 60 percent of my followers and the next we're going to get into is stream analytics and what this is showing is how your stream performed over a period of time. I could go ahead and the default is a 30 day window starting 30 days back from the day you're on. If I wanted to change my, that time frame that I'm looking at, I would actually just click that top bar and then the left hand side where start date, you should pick your start date. Right hand side is my end date. So if I wanted to say, go back to, um, beginning of the year, right? So I'll pick January. I'll hit update. Now this is going to show me how I have performed across again, categories that I can change. Average viewers, followers, subscriptions, revenue, time stream, minutes watched, so on and so forth. And you're only seeing one piece of data at a time, but as I click on each of them, 
it's showing me how things have changed and progressed along the way. Average view count follows what streams that I have during the time period. Uh, where did my views come from? What channels have the most in common with yours? Categories do my viewers like to watch? What are my top clips? And again, more information about the notification. So there you have it. This is stream and manager in the insight section, all about the analytics. 